2610 pounds, Rockwood A213 high wall, updated revised version actually here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, previous generations did not include the front dormer that you see on this one now. That's something that Rockwood kind of test marketed on the 215 high wall model last year, which we also carry here at Haywood's. And um, it proved very successful, very popular. So uh, they said, you know what, why not expand it to more offerings through the lineup? And it's actually, I think, on more than half of them now. They really adopted it quite a bit. Now, this is the bigger series of Rockwood A-frames. There's the normal, um, like, A122 series, and then there's the, the ones that start with the two, like the A213, A212, like these. These are basically six inches bigger in every way. They're uh, like a little bit taller walls. They have taller, bigger furniture, etc. It makes it a little easier setting up and down uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, all of the high wall models like this have a power lift system. So it's uh, anytime you have 12 volt power from either your vehicle, from park shore plugs, or from a 12 volt battery, you're good to go. Now the front dormer, actually I'm gonna uh, include after this a bunch of extra uh, little snippet videos. Like if you wanna know how the dormer goes up and down, I have a video for that. If you wanna see how one of these goes up and down, I have a video for that. You wanna learn how they're constructed, I have a video for that. I've kind of broken these down into segments because everyone seems to have very specific wants and needs on this. So I wanna focus on kind of some of the specifics. Now your high walls with the uh, front storage, because the front storage would be so tall, you couldn't get to it. So they actually double tier the storage. You have this uh, slide out trunk and then you have a totally segregated separate uh, deck up in here, which is the perfect place to um, store that grill that comes with these, by the way. That front window is uh, symmetrically located right in the nose of this thing, so that you have perfect little campsite views, and there are privacy shades for all that. And this is where you start to see why I call these as much of a pop-up travel trailer. Or, uh, yeah, like a, instead of a fold-down camper, it's a pop-up travel trailer in a way. It's, it, this is a mutant product, guys. So, yes, it's obviously a folding camper. In technicality, that's most definitely what it is. But it has the features, by and large, of a full, fully enclosed travel trailer like a double propane tank system with an automatic changeover regulator. We do uh, option on power tongue jacks to most of these right here. And if you hear some background noise right now, I'm in the shop. Um, it's actually winter time at the time of this filming. And it, we're so busy, I had to schedule ahead of time shop time to get one of these pulled in with the updates because I didn't want to just reuse old outdated footage that lacked the dormer. Now your uh, water heater down here, that is uh, auto ignition. Um, so that's called DSI, which means direct spark ignition, as well as uh, propane powered. So that'll give you almost 11 gallons per hour of hot water. Uh, that is a six gallon vessel, but it recharges more than the vessel capacity per hour. Um, those big wheels right there. Uh, sometimes you'll see pictures of these on our website with a tiny little crappy white wheel. That's just the traveling wheel because these come on double decker flatbeds. And the uh, traveling wheel, or the, this big full wheel right here, it's too big to fit on there. Now you see this bar right here, that's your power lifter system. Um, and one of the main questions people have anytime that there's a power awning, power slide out, power tongue jack, anything like that, is can I override this thing? And the answer is yes, like a fox. It's not very difficult there whatsoever. How you doing Mr. Norm? Um, they don't waste anything on these. They utilize every little nook and cranny they can. Like this pocket right here actually goes under one of the two beds. And that's another very unique quality on this specific floor plan. Um, this is a very good, what I call, buddy camper. Instead of having one single bed in the back, it has a pair of individual beds, but it also includes a little conversion plank that you can put between them to uh, convert this over into a full king bed. So this is either good for buddy camping or couples camping if you want a king bed and a little camper. Now your spare tire is going to be included. We simply store those. What's neat about the Rockwoods too though is they actually include a nice little hard shell cover to keep that better protected from weather elements. Um, this little picnic table that you're seeing right here, this is actually your dining table inside. I, uh, I always talk about how you can free float these and take them outside, but I never demonstrate that. So I thought, hey, why not? We'll do something different today. Now, um, this right here, this is that extra little conversion plank cushion I was talking about if you want to convert from two singles into one master king bed. Um, now, you don't have to store it under there. Think about this. If you're going to go out for the weekend and you know you're not going to use it in single king bed format, then leave the cushions like at home, in a garbage bag, in the garage, whatever. Keep them out of the way. You don't have to occupy your storage space. Now your high wall models have a double entry step as opposed to a single. The RVQ grill is included with those. This is your access to the little cassette style toilet because this one also has a little half bath. This, this has become, if not the most, one of the most popular high walls that we have. 
because it hits so many notes people are looking for. Like, I don't want a bathroom in a camper. You're gonna find that it's not really a bathroom. It's, it's a great little late night emergency use thing or if the weather's bad and you don't wanna go to the campground bathhouses. This is one of the most flexible little campers I've seen and you can get a lot of use out of this little thing in one go. You can convert it on the fly. Um, actually, let's step inside. You'll see more of what I'm talking about right there. So remember, the picnic table or the dining table, whatever you want to call it, that actually goes between these two benches. I have that outside right now, um, just to kind of demonstrate that. But it can, uh, this can fold down into like a single grandkid sleeper. So if you actually, uh, well, you know what, as wide as this camper is, you could sleep an adult there too. A single adult would fit in there just fine. So if you're going triple buddy camping for like hunting camp, fishing, whatever, this would work. Now these have the bigger Max Air vent fan like all Rockwood campers, literally all uh, like Rockwood hard side campers have these fans. What's neat about this is it's 12 volt powered. So if you're where it's hot but you're boondocking, you can uh, use either the batteries or a couple of those portable solar panels like the ones we have here at Halo RV, keep your batteries topped off and always have a nice way to cool this thing. All of our lights are LED, those are obviously 12 volt. And um, uh, something else I want to talk about right here, where's it? Okay, it, it changes by floor plan, so I always have to locate it real quick. But that Dometic black box right there, that's called a Cool Cat. It's a heat pump. It's actually a bi-directional heat pump. So it is either an electric air conditioner or an electric heater. It can do either, but you do need full shore power or an RV generator to run that. Now let's say you're going to be, uh, like I said, hunting camping. Well. You, you don't always have shore power out in the woods, so that's why we still include a 12 volt powered propane furnace on this. Although understand, if you're gonna be using this over weekend, I definitely recommend you have uh, like extra battery or two to, cause that the batter, the uh, furnace fan actually is one of the biggest draws on the uh, um, batteries of an RV. So the dormer here, it uh, it's not like last year you ever hit your head on one of these, but it really opens the front end of this sucker up. It really opens it up. Plus it's actually adding two extra lights that we didn't have before. So even though it's bigger in here, it's actually brighter than it ever was too. Now, uh, right over here is where this starts to be quite flexible. That nice little mirror a lot of these Rockwoods have. But this little stand, when you're just sitting here looking at it, you're like, oh, it's just a nice extra little chunk of countertop space. But notice the little silvery knob. When you need it, if you need it, ta-da! Bonus little built-in cassette style half bath. So it's there when you need it, it's gone when you don't. That's the good part about this. Now it's not a full bath, it's not a shower or anything like that, but those full bathroom showers in A-frame campers have proven extremely unsuccessful and unpopular. And I think the reason is people aren't generally interested in being able to uh, do their three S's and uh, tend to their pancakes and bacon on the uh, stove over here all at the same time I think they're looking for a little more separation than that and these campers physically just don't have the space to do that now the kitchenette area of this is one of the areas where this truly truly separates itself uh, from the non extra high walls like these so the the a122 s series the standard size rockwood a-frame so um they uh they go to this cool truck camper style recessed uh sink right here it gives you extra prep space when you need it and what i like is that they used to have a faucet that you had to manually detach to put the walls down but you forget to do that one time and you broke it and you know that didn't work so they got rid of that and they said we're going to use a better fixture we're rockwood we're not the cheaper brand we're going to use better stuff now they recess the stovetop. Again, very much like a truck camper. Some of the horse traders that we have here at Halo Derby. And this is a tempered glass, by the way. I'm not going to tell you you can just whack it with a sledgehammer, but it is fairly ru uh, rugged, robust, and impact resistant. A little countertop extension if you need it. Uh, now, obviously, that will occupy some potential seating space here, but you figure this is a small camper. Efficiency is key, so you got to kind of plan ahead what you're doing. Now, what I like is when you start looking around in here, you're going to see uh, drawers, all over the place. They really didn't waste anything in here. A couple drawers below the two stands. That's a perfect little uh, nighttime CPAP stand right there, by the way. And even a pair of additional drawers over here. There's actually more drawers in this than I've seen in some fifth wheels. Not all, but some. The refrigerator is bigger in the high wall A-frame series as opposed to the standard A-frame series, which is funny because in comparison to a standard pop-up, a normal Rockwood A-frame is a high wall. So I call these a higher than high wall. Now again, this is kind of a full down travel trailer. We've got a full microwave. We've got uh, a, a nice Bluetooth streaming entertainment system. We have TV hookups. We have things travel trailers don't normally have right there. Um, 
So again, there's storage below each of these beds individually. You can put that central plank in there to convert this into a king bed. Now what's kind of cool, most of your Rockwood A-frames have an east-west bed. This has a pair of north-south beds. And they're smaller, so they're much easier to make, by the way. But um, when your head is here, you're looking straight up at the stars. Here, actually, I'm just, I'm going to lay down. And this is what you're going to see. Now, normally you're not going to look at the top of one of our RV service bays here at Halet RV, but you get the idea. You'd be looking up at the stars. And then one other little thing I like to talk about, a lot of people go, what? What is that thing? It's just like an extra little clothes hanger because storage is such a premium and they try to give you little things. But a little tip I've learned from people that have bought these and gone camping, get one of those twisting uh, shower rods, tension rods from like big box store of your choice and put it right at the apex of this thing. And it gives you room where like you can push shirts off to the side one way or the other without them being in your walkway and still have hanging storage. It's a really cool, easy, smart solution. Low dollar too. Everybody likes that. What else? Carpetless, easy to clean, which is going to benefit me in just a second because uh, stomping around out here in the winter weather, my boots have been a little wet, and I'm going to go through and, you know, be a decent person and clean up after myself because, hey, that's how I was raised. So, if you like what you see, give us a call. Again, stay tuned for the little bonus featurettes that will give you a little more specific insight on different aspects of these campers. And, as always, remember, there is no one too far away to work with Halet RV. We've been one of the very largest uh, folding camper dealers in the state of Michigan, if not the largest some years, for the past four or five years. And we are the largest uh, standalone store in the state of Michigan. Not only are we the only one in the top ten, we're the only one in the top five of this state. Um, you know, we're family owned, family operated. We look forward to the opportunity to meet and serve you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. Stay tuned for little bonus features.